What's up guys, it's Lamar Devante and today I'm at the Etobicoke Beyblade event. So this is the first event in the Beyblade Burst Tour which is currently only in Canada. And I'm gonna go out and let's go see how it works. Okay. Not bad, I can see why you two made it to the finals. Those are really good spins. Okay. Circling it super close. Tick, tick, tick. Boom. Ooh, there we are. There we are. One point. One. Rip. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. <laughs> the Beyblade hit my finger when it yeah, was going on. Yeah, that's what I figured. So we're gonna re. Three, two, one. Let her rip. Ah, there we are. So it's two to one, two to one. Keep your hand below. When you drop it, it will pop up. Keep your hand maybe around there. Yeah, it will bounce around the edge. Three, two, one. Let her rip. Ooh. Ooh. Good luck, Scott. Those are amazing tips. Okay, so avoid, spins. Avoid contact here. That is very, very close. It's almost exact. It's almost exact. Oh no. Oh! Go on, go what's on. making the other one spin better? That's hilarious. Oh! 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 By just a little bit. Very nicely done, man. Hey, so now I'm back from the tournament. I got back a few hours ago. And in the compilation, as you guys saw, I showed a bit of the area and some of the battles. And I didn't record a lot of it inside. I recorded a few matches. So I apologize for that because at first they didn't want us to do any photography. Which they told Zanki and I not to do, along with 123 for Beyblade, who was also there. But after they said that, as long as we didn't show faces, it would be fine. So, not a lot of footage was taken there, but I had a lot of pictures, and I'll be linking to the World Beyblade Organization post for that. So, now I'm gonna talk about what was used, what the atmosphere was like, and just what it was like. So, first off, I have a box here, which has a lot of my Hasbro Beyblades, but also a few Takara Tomy Beyblades. And it was really interesting because there's a lot of unique combos that were used. Because these are younger kids who were just trying it out for the first time. And because of this, I went for a lot of the same combos. So for example, I went with, uh, well let's get the parts. I usually went with Unicrust Heavy Revolve. I went with this. Because I found this pretty safe. And sometimes I was pretty close to bursting. And so uh, they kind of let you switch out. And so I usually switch to either Kirby's K2... Heavy Revolve, or Gravity Revolve, Gravity's right here, so I'd switch with these, and I like this because it was defensive, and I went with Unicrest because it had a bit more stamina, but in the end, um, it was actually old WBO members that placed in the three tournaments held, in the first one, it was 1-2-3 for Beyblade who won, so congratulations to him, in the second one, I ended up winning, and in the third one, it's K from the WBO ended up winning, so it was old WBO members that won. And in the second tournament, I was facing Scott, who was using Kirby's Heavy Revolve, I think. And that was a difficult match, because it has, it's pretty good at defense, actually. But I was able to beat him by using Valtrek Spread Revolve. And this combo is extremely tight, and I like it because it's a bit versatile. It has, it has a bit more stamina because of Revolve, because of the free spinning part. But it's also a stationary attack type. So I ended up being Scott with that, which was surprising because I ended up bursting him in the final round. And I'm so, okay, I think Scott really should have won that, I'll be honest here. But he's still the better player than me overall, who barely does competitive anymore. And so those are the combos I used. I Outside of that, I didn't use anything else in the tournament. And just to say... They said that technically, Takara Tommy Beyblades would be allowed. So that means I could have used, like, Drain Fafnir 8 nothing, or even, let's say, just God Valkyrie, and the parts are in the case. But I could have technically used these Beyblades. But we chose not to because it'd be a bit unfair, and so we went with what we had. Also, one major thing, it's nothing wrong with the event, but it's the launchers. These launchers are extremely inconsistent. Unicrest and Kirby's K2, these two uh, layers would keep on getting stuck and actually resulted in, in total, two round losses. That's not much, but with 
how risky this Hasbro meta is. It was frightening. And I didn't lose and I didn't lose any matches because of this, but I lost rounds, so it's not as bad. But I'm I had to go through four different launchers because I didn't want to use Chikar Tomi stuff. That's what um we had agreed on one, two, three for Beyblade, K and I. Because we wanted to be a bit more fair. And these are extremely inconsistent. Uh, so I'd recommend that you guys use a super griff launcher, which I found a bit better, but mine's worn and it has a gaping hole here. And I kind of just killed it. But that was one issue. But besides that, it was pretty fun. Um, I had a chance of winning the third tournament. But I kind of blew it when I got uh, 3 0 by a kid. When I launched into the pocket. And then he launched a bit after me. Uh, his Victory Valtryek Gravity Revolve landed on top of Unicrest Heavy Revolve. And when it hit, it just bursted it. And that was over. Uh, K ended up winning the third tournament and beating him since he was a semi-finalist. And let's talk about the tournament because, uh, well, winning. So I'll just move everything aside. So I ended up winning this. This is supposed to be worth $30. This game is supposed to worth, be worth 15 Stars are worth 15 This is in Canadian dollars. Um, this isn't really worth $30 in my opinion. But this is what I won. I also got a certificate over here. I don't really just want to lift that. Um, and this is what I won. I'm pretty happy with it. I didn't have this blue stadium before. But overall, this was really exciting. I'm glad I got to see everybody. I'll be linking 1, 2, 3, 4, Beyblade in the description along with Zanki. It was great to see just everyone again. And if you guys like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to be updated for when I do uh, <laughs> upload anything, since I upload very inconsistent, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I hope that if you guys live in Canada, that you will be able to attend one of these amazing burst tours. Thanks for watching.